Hello everyone, my name is Martin Linksfeld and welcome to the second lesson of this course. In this lesson we'll create a free tier MySQL database service in OCI cloud infrastructure using Terraform module. A bastion host will be deployed in a public subnet with MySQL database service in a private subnet for secure access. We will also use MySQL Workbench to connect to the database via Bastion Host, ensuring secure management of MySQL instance while leveraging free tier resources. This is a topology diagram of the lesson two in this course. As you can see, we are still in one OCI region. We have one VCN. But this time in this VCN, we will have two subnets. One private subnet where we will still have MySQL database system always free. And the second one, the public subnet where we will just deploy compute instance for the purpose of passing server. It means afterwards we will be able to access our MySQL by just jumping through this Bastion host. That will enable the secure configuration. Okay, now we can move to uh, VS Code Editor. Now we are in GitHub. This is our uh, module for Hitway for MySQL database system. So let me go again to the training subdirectory and into second lesson. So this is a code which I have downloaded as well to my uh, local copy. So this is the place where we have just finished uh, the first uh, lesson. So let me go into lesson number two. Uh, I will copy uh, from the lesson number one Terraform Terraform TF Vars file. So this file will be used here as well. So this is the second lesson and here is our copy of Terraform TF Vars file. And now in the second lesson, I will run Terraform in it just to prepare my environment for the test and before going further into Terraform apply, let me just go through the files which has been updated or created as a completely new one. First of all, let me start with MDS, which has been updated. So as you can see, we have a different approach uh, instead of counting on the module to create the networking we will use existing networking uh, therefore we are just injecting subnet id for our mds so this object represent uh, the private subnet resource which will be created here in this lesson if we want to see uh, all the other resources necessary for the network, we can go to network underscore new dot tf file where we will see all necessary elements, uh, including VCN, Internet Gateway for public subnet, NAT Gateway for private subnet, public route table going through the Internet Gateway, security list for bastion i will explain the bastion um, in a minute and we have security list for mds in the same sense as previously private route table um, finally subnet public subnet plus uh, attachment between public subnet and route table and private subnet as you can see here, we have a definition, we have attribute prohibit public IP on Vinic equal true, meaning this private, this subnet will be private. And then, of course, we have the attachment between private subnet and the private route table. 
So this is a network, and as I have mentioned, through this injection, we will inject uh, our private subnet and uh, MDS will be deployed there. In case of the public subnet, we will have this a compute instance, uh, the Bastion host, and this Bastion host will be in uh, placed in a public subnet, right? Uh, and we'll have assigned public IP. Therefore, we will be able to use this public IP to jump through and access MDS. What is also important, uh, we will uh, generate the keeper for mm, our compute instance, private and public key, and then it will be essential for us to use that generated private key to authorized SSH connection tunneling th through the Bastion host into MDS from the perspective of our MySQL workbench. I will explain that after deployment. There are a few other files which are necessary. For example, TLS uh, underscore new.tf file where we are just using this uh, resource named TLS private key to create a RSA based uh, private keeper for our compute instance. On the other hand, of course, we had to uh, add a few other files such as uh, data sources. They will be necessary for um, Bastion host OS image uh, and also for attachment and VINIC. So this is something additional because we want to um, embrace flexibility of shapes. Uh, on a compute level, in uh, computer instance level, we had to introduce those locals to um, decide about the, the shape. Um, also, we have updated variables.tf file with few uh, variables which can be uh, changed and customized. For example, shape of the bastion, right? Compute instance. Okay, now let's go back to Terra to Terraform. So let me run Terraform apply. And within a second or two, as I have mentioned, I need to wait. We will have 14 resources to be added, including all the elements I have enlisted from the code. So let me just scroll up just to find out all the elements, so Bastion Vinic, Bastion Vinic attachment, Bastion itself, so compute instance, then internet gateway, not gateway, private route table, public route table, uh, attachments uh, between uh, subnets and route tables, security list for accessing through uh, 22 ports of SSH, security list for MDS, uh, port 3306, uh, 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 and then of, and uh, 3060, oh, oh, and then so port X, then we have a private subnet, public subnet, and VCN plus keeper, and the MDS itself, again with M MySQL free shape. So that's it. I can run uh, uh, this apply. So I'm accepting yes. And uh, what we can see here is the process of deployment. So let me go to our OCI. So I'm in OCI console. So I'm assuming a virtual network has been established. Um, as you can see, we have a public subnet and private subnet. Uh, and then we can go to compute instances just to verify if the Bastion is on the way. So the Bastion server is on the way. Maybe uh, MDS as well. So let me go to uh, DB systems. Yeah, so our MDS is on the way as well. So let me just uh, pause the recording now and I will be back after all the things will be settled here. Okay, looks like the apply is finished. So 14 resources added. Um, 
as you can see in outputs we have uh, IP address public one of the bastion and we have uh, also private IP of MDS I will switch for a sec into the repository where I was explaining I'm explaining how to then proceed right so how to uh, create a connection to our MySQL right uh, from local instance of MySQL workbench so we need to have private IP address we need to have uh, public IP address as well of the bastion there is also another thing which is necessary we need to create local copy of the private key right so this is really necessary and it is well explained here meaning we need to run uh, we need to run um, terraform console uh, and with this terraform console we will immediately cre cre generate uh, from the outputs because this is sensitive we need to run a function called non-sensitive and generate the key for us right so this is a key which should be copied and I will create ID RSA file locally here and I will copy the content of the file additionally I'll change the the privilege to the uh, you know um, to as smaller as possible and now ID RSA can be used for SSH connection for tunneling so this is a step which is explained here in a repository in a readme file and then we have a workbench right so let's follow the picture the screenshot we can see here right so this is a workbench instance so I will click plus I will switch to standard TCP IP over SSH and according to uh, the picture uh, from the readme I need to somehow name uh, this connection name so I will use uh, the name of the lesson to name it right so I will put it here in case of SSH I need to bring here my bastion host address so it is visible in the outputs right here so I can take this one or I can go to the console uh, to the OCI console but this will be probably faster so I will instead of this local host I will put the IP address of the bastion here I can put OPC user which is essentially the regular user in Linux box then I will pick up ID RSA file right which we have created and then I need to put my MySQL host name or IP address in our case it will be address so let me pick up this one and populate the configuration okay uh, the port will stay as it is and for the user I will use MySQL and now I can test the connection okay and now I need to provide a password so fortunately we have a password in our terraform tfvars file so I will take this password and I will return back here and I will click OK there is a warning because there is a mismatch of the versions between MySQL workbench and our instance but I don't I don't care at the moment continue anyway 
successful made the connection to MySQL. Super. Okay, so I can now save it, right? And this is my connection. So let me just click on that. The SQL editor will open up and I can run show databases just to see that we have initial set of databases just after uh, creation of the instance. So this is a connection from my local computer with MySQL Workbench into MDS via Basin Host. Okay, that is all. So now I can run Terraform Destroy just to eliminate everything uh, what we have created so far. Okay. I can type yes. And the process of termination has been started. The MDS is deleted. The work request is on the way, I believe. Yeah, delete the DB system. I'm assuming uh, our Bastion host instance is terminated or in a termination process. So we need to just wait. That's it. Okay, let me pause the recording and I will be back here when all will be destroyed. Looks like destroy is complete. So 14 resources destroyed. Uh, let us check it immediately in uh, console. So Bastion eliminated. That's perfect. Uh, let's verify databases. So eliminated as well. And finally the networking. So MDS VCN is not existing. So yeah, everything has been cleared out according to our plan. That is perfect. So in fact, this is the end of the lesson number two. I hope it was interesting and I really count on you in the next lecture where we will show you further options uh, in this uh, MySQL database system. In fact, it will be a lesson about the heat wave option. Okay. That's it. Thank you. See you soon.